Hi, my name is Mike Conley, uh, and I've been working on the issue tracking feature for Review Board. And uh, it's still sort of in the early stages, but uh, I wanted to show you where I'd gotten with it and kind of show it off a little bit. Okay, so uh, in this scenario, uh, my name is Ekam Yelnok, and I'm going to be uh, reviewing Mike Conley's patch here. And I'm looking at I'm looking at his diff, and uh, you know th this hasn't changed much uh, from from what you're used to if you if you use Review Board. But you'll notice that if I open up a comment here, for example, if I were to say uh, maybe we should use a different icon. I've got this option down here at the bottom that lets me open an issue with this comment, and uh, that that's really that's really it. That's that's simple. Uh, I can just open issues like that. So I can uh, go down here and say uh, maybe we should do something else. I don't know. I can't spell something else, and I will open another issue. And just for good measure, I'll open another one here. Uh, let's open an issue, and I'll just open an issue here as well. And I can, and uh, if I were to just open up a, a normal comment, I can, I can say, uh, let's start a discussion like this. Uh, and and normal comments will behave like you're used to. It, it's really, it really won't change the behavior of them very much. Okay, so if I publish this review now then I can see that an issue was opened on these comments that, that I made. An issue was opened here, here, and here, uh, but no issue was opened there, so um, so that's the same. But yeah, I've got three issues open here, and, and, and that's, that's it in terms of opening issues. So that's, that's the sort of the view of it from the reviewer, uh, Ekim Yelnok. And if, I, if I'm, I'm going to switch browser windows here, and now I'm logged in as uh, Mike Conley, so the one who made the review request. And I can look and see uh, what has been said about my patch, and I can see that Ekim Yelnok has made a review, and I have all these issues that are opened. And because I made the review request, I have options uh, on these issues. I can either say that an issue has been fixed, or I can say um, drop, which which is like saying it's not it's not an issue, or I didn't make a change because of the issue that was raised. So while we've acknowledged that you raised an issue, we're just going to drop the issue, and uh, and I can always reopen issues if uh, if I made a mistake. You know if. if we'd want to drop it instead or if we want to fix this one instead that's that's a piece of cake and, and that's it it's a sort of an easy way for me to keep track of what actions I made based on other people's reviews uh, so so that's it there uh, you can also do reviews uh, on screenshots so I've switched back to to Ekim Yelnok's browser and if I were to go to uh, if I were to go to the screenshot here that was posted I can say Nice gorilla. Maybe make him smile more. And then I will open an issue here. Uh, and then another issue. Add more tweets. And it's the same business so that if I were to publish this, uh, we can see that, and again, two issues were opened on the screenshots. And if I switch to Mike Conley's uh, view here, his browser, and refresh this, uh, I can see the new review has been posted, and I can say fixed or dropped. Piece of cake, and that, and that's really it. It's still um, it's still really early in development. Um, it hasn't been merged or anything. I, this is just what I've got on my computer. So uh, I don't know if you've got any feedback. If you have any ideas, please uh, let me know. Post on my blog, or or maybe hit up the review board developer list. I'll I'll listen to that too. And that's it. Thanks for watching.